Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a fun little video. We're going to do a ranking video and we're going to be ranking a set of palettes that I have from a certain brand that I love. I love all of these palettes by the way and I love this brand so much and today's brand is going to be Kaleidos. I have seven, yes, seven palettes. They're over here. I have them lined up so I know what way I'm going to rank them. I have seven palettes that we're going to rank and we'll just see how we get on. I love all these palettes by the way. I just have definitely got favourites out of the bunch so I don't dislike any of the palettes. So if something is right at the bottom of the list it doesn't mean it's a bad palette. It doesn't mean I don't love it. It just means I love the other ones a little bit more or I love them the most which you will see. I wonder if you guys will be able to guess. You should let leave a comment down below before we get into this if you can guess what my ranking is going to be from seven to number one because that's the way I'm going to do it so that'll be fun you should do that now I just think a little ranking video is fun it kind of gets you used to kind of what I am into what I like as far as palettes go eyeshadow colors color stories all that kind of stuff and what I like to use mostly um, and it's also a good way to show you what I actually have in my collection so if you want to see any more videos on any of these palettes you let me know down in the comments below as well if you want me to pile them together do a get ready with me do whatever let me know and i will do so just before we get in to the actual ranking this look is filmed it will be up on my channel soon i don't know when i don't know if it's already up i don't know if it's going to be up after this video who knows i don't know you'll probably know before i do so it is filmed it is coming so don't worry about that you will get to see that and also my instagram is linked down below where you will get to see all the pictures of this look once i do actually post it so go follow that down below as well as subscribing to see the video coming up soon okay let's get into the actual ranking i think we'll start with obviously the bottom and work our way up to number one and we'll see what number one is which i i wonder if you guess right okay so coming in at number seven is the bottom of the list but it's not a bad palette i'm gonna keep saying this it is not a bad palette i do love this palette just love the others a little bit more this is the futurism three the astro pink which you can still get by the way it is this guy here the beautiful packaging i'll just show you gorgeous foiled effect and the back the packaging on these are so beautiful i wish kaleidos would bring these six pans back out more again do more fun color stories with them this is how the palette looks here i'm not going to blind you with the mirror so it's really really fun kind of like purples this beautiful shiny lavender and this gorgeous duochrome like blue to purple and um, a sequin black and then two neutral shades the only reason it's down this low really is because these two neutral shades are very similar i would probably have got rid of this one and maybe added in like a, another purple or like a lighter purple matte or a dark blue matte or something like that just to have a bit of difference because I just think that these two are too similar it's kind of hard then to get these to blend like the black out if I don't want to do a purple and I want to just do black it's kind of hard to get these to blend them out because they are a good bit lighter could have done with like a little balance in between but I do love this I love the shimmers as always, the shimmers in Kaleidos palettes are always beautiful. So there's nothing new there. If you want to see any looks or any videos or any inspiration or how the swatches are of these palettes, they're all on my channel. All you have to do is search whichever palette you're looking for and it will come up on my channel. Um, yeah, this shade here is so shiny though. Absolutely beautiful. At number six, we have got the Futurism number six palette the lunar lavender palette which is my most recent palette actually from Kaleidos I did get it at Christmas so it's not that recent but it is the one I'm used the most recent and you'll definitely find somewhere on my channel if you like I said if you search or just go back a few videos you will find all of the first impressions and the two looks one palette using this this is stunning this is beautiful the tones of these purples are beautiful the two shimmers in here are magical the neutrals i do love as well because this actually kind of pulls a little bit plummy when you do blend it out as well again the only other kind of thing about this is i would have liked like a dark purple ma or because it's kind of hard to get this to deepen the purple because just because the tone of it um and then to get this or not that one to get this one to kind of blend it if i wants to make like more like i don't know i just have a thing about it it's just i wish there was one one more little dark ma or like take out something like maybe this lavender and make like a darker purple or something like that because i think this is light enough anyway um i was not picking my nose my nose is quite itchy right here um <laughs> but these shimmers are beautiful kaleidos shimmers are where they really shine their mattes are stunning as well though so the lunar lavender my boyfriend actually got me for christmas that's how i got that and this next one he got me for my birthday 
last year. He's got me actually most of my palettes, to be fair. Um, this is our Kaleidos Flower Punk. This is our number five. And can we just appreciate how stunning, whoa, we don't want to blind you, how stunning the packaging is on this. It is beautiful. When I heard the name Flower Punk, I was like, need it. I need it. It's like punky and girly. That's a bit of me. So it slides off almost like the Ingla palettes do, like the Freedom System palettes like this. And you have a full mirror here. And this is your palette. This is very well loved, as you can see, because it's quite dirty. I only used it there recently. But you've got these gorgeous minty blue kind of shades and khakis all along here. This shade right here is beautiful. And this shimmer right here is beautiful as well. And then you've got these gorgeous, like real dusty pink. So like not a dusty rose like a dusty pink they're still quite pink but they have just this gorgeous undertone to them I don't know and then you've got like three different shimmers you've got your green shimmer your pinky shimmer and then your blue shimmer it or well this one's the blue shimmer but it's just I don't know it's so so pretty Um, you get such beautiful looks I actually use this on my birthday this year as my look I did um the gr khaki greens and stained glass which is the pink in like a halo kind of effect as well i just think they're gorgeous i think it's so pretty there's no real reason why it's down at number five it's only because the other color stories i do grab a little bit more but i do really really love this palette it's such a nice palette to kind of just use i don't know there's something very satisfying about using this palette and in at number four is actually was also bought with that palette from my boyfriend with the flower punk this is the futurism seven the hang on sashimi city i always swear a little bit whenever i say that too fast so sashimi city and um, this is like the neutral palette it's sister to go with that lunar lavender palette and if you're going to do a neutral this is how you do a neutral if you want soft glam if you want something that's still a little bit interesting because these two shimmers are gorgeous the mattes in here are beautiful. You've kind of got your more kind of peachy warm side and then your cooler, more kind of golden sort of side on here. I just think they're so, so beautiful. And do you need maybe both dark mattes? Probably not, but I think it's nice to have the two different tones and I really, really like it. I love how you've got your two different kind of transition shades. Well, this to me is a better laid out palette because you have the depth to match each kind of color and you can do a lot with the shimmers. Again, I have all the videos already up of these so you can go check everything out and get a little bit more inspo from them but if I'm gonna kind of grab a quick neutral palette that I just want something quite soft quite glam I'll probably grab this one out of all of them I do have another one that has neutrals coming up but it's a bit more of a grungy neutral which you'll see soon and into the top three so with the astro pink palette I also got two other palettes with it which you'll see coming up this one and the very next one and um, they were all bought from my from my boyfriend for my birthday but this is the first one I ever used. This is the first Kaleidos palette I ever used. The first eyeshadows I ever touched from Kaleidos. This has been discontinued and I'm so sad about that because I feel like they need this kind of palette. It's so beautiful. This is the Futurism number four and this is the Vior Neon. Like, how beautiful is she? She's so bright. She's so colourful. There's a red red and a neon palette you never ever see that i don't know why you just never see that the two shimmers here are gorgeous and super super sparkly there's something really really special about these two shimmers i've probably used this palette i would say the most i want to say no i've used the next one the most actually but this one here i just mm, i have i do have an instagram video that i have done but i haven't uploaded yet using this palette again i know it's discontinued i am sorry but I can't help it. It's beautiful. I have to use it. It's just stunning. I can't stop touching it. I just love it. And this is what made me completely fall head over heels in love with Kaleidos. Just the formula, the colours, the colour story, the packaging, the way these six pans were. I just really want them back again. Now, I obviously don't have all of the six pan palettes. There was the um, sci-fi greens, which I didn't really think I needed because some of the greens were quite repetitive in that palette, although it's only six shades, so it was still quite repetitive. Then there was the electro turquoise. Wasn't my vibe back then. Now that I've used the Odin's Eye Cat's Breath palette, because that's kind of that orange and teal kind of vibe, I would be probably interested in that, but I don't think they do that one anymore and i think there was another one now i'm actually pretty sure i just had a little google there that that is all the palettes 
from the Futurism Closet palette except for the next one. This is my next one. And this one has also been discontinued. And I don't know why this one, of all of them, I don't know why this one is discontinued. This one is coming in at number two. And this is the Futurism number two, which is kind of cool. This is the Cyber Bronze. This is my most used Kaleidos palette. This is what I grab when I don't know what I'm gonna wear or what I'm gonna do, I grab this palette because I just know I love every look I ever do with this palette. I just think it's so beautiful. Again, this packaging is more like a geode kind of style, like just all kinds of beautiful. This is probably my favorite packaging as well of the six pans. I don't know what's my favorite actual packaging, whether I like the flower punk or the next one coming up or this. I think this might be my favorite. I just think it's something very, I don't know, cool about it. Um, so this is how she looks. This is cyber bronze. I had to have this palette. This is probably the first one I think I picked when I was picking these out when my boyfriend was getting them for me. I knew I wanted this because I was like, I love the fact there is some neutral in here, but then you've got like a shimmer red, metallic, metallic red, like so beautiful. This silver will shock you. Like, can we just, and then this is kind of like a, a rusty sort of shade as well. If you want to go a little bit more into the neutral. So yeah, still have a, a shimmer to go with the neutrals. Like I did one of my all time favorite looks with this palette. I used this, a little bit of the dark and then the silver on the lid. It was, I did it in 2020. I'll never forget it. It was one of my most favorite looks and I felt so, so beautiful in that look. And it's why I always grab this palette when I'm going anywhere and I don't know what to do. I will always grab this palette because I just know I can rely on it. It's just so, so nice. You have your warm brown to kind of go with the warmer tones. And then these can sit a bit cooler if you really want them to as well. And that silver is just mwah. And then in at number one, have you guessed? Did you guess right? Did you guess the order right? I don't know if you did because I'm a bit shocked at the order as well. I'm not too sure. This is the Kaleidos Club Nebula palette in conjunction with Angelica Nyquist. Like, firstly, this is the other one that I think could be in the running for my favorite packaging because it's so, so beautiful. It's inspired by like a casino in space. It's that kind of vibe that you could when it was released you could get a deck of cards with it as well but this is how she looks and it's one of their big palettes which they have another one they've got the escape pod palette i don't have that i only have this one because escape pod the, the color story didn't really speak to me too much this however though for two reasons one i love angelica and number two i love kaleidos and number three because it's three reasons obviously look at this color story look at how deep this corner is over here and it's not just because i'm blocking it Look at how deep that is there. And then you see him, you see him right there, him, just him, him on its own. And I, and it's a winner for me. The shimmers in this, these are kind of like toppery sort of shades. They're also duochromes. Same with this one here. We've also got this gorgeous like orange peach kind of shade. Just how dark you can go with it. There is the option of a little bit of neutral, but it's a very interesting palette. There's just something about this palette. It makes me so inspired and I have so many options. I can do so many things. Every single one of the looks I did with this, I did four looks. I did my first impressions. I did my three looks on palette. Every single one of them are completely different. They are completely different. And I just think it's so beautiful. I just, I don't know. I need to bust this out a little bit more. I know someone has requested it from me to do another kind of look with this. So I will add that to my list. Alrighty, so that is the ranking. That is my seven kaleidos palettes and that is how i feel about each palette that is the way i would order them in order of how much i love them and how much i use them as well because it's all about the use not just about the attachment even though i'm a sucker for attachment to palettes i I, w I wonder if you guys got it right let me know if you did and i also wonder if you're shocked because i'm i was a little bit shocked because i thought cyber bronze might have been number one and i probably thought uh, the flower punk would have got a little bit higher but no, I'm kind of, that's kind of the way I use my palettes. That's how much I use them in that order. So I'm, I'm actually very happy with how I rank them. So as I said many times in this palette, let me know what you thought of my ranking. Let me know what you thought my ranking was going to be. Let me know if you got it right. If you did guess right at the beginning, let me know if you got it right as well, because I want to know all that down below. And what would your ranking be? Do you have any Kaleidos palettes? Which ones are your favorites? What's your kind of top five, whatever, however many palettes you have? what is your ranking down below if you did like this video give me a big thumbs up down below it's the quickest simplest and easiest way to give me a little bit of support get me around to more people and also let me know that you like the video and i will continue to do many more also hit subscribe down below to see many more videos coming up we have got more rankings because i do have more 
like groups of palettes but I'm just waiting to finish off some reviews and things like that of them and then I will get around to ranking them and we've also got many more palettes coming up there's so many as I said in the beginning go follow my Instagram which is linked down below to see this look in action and to see anything else in action and I do have swatches in on my IGTV I think it is of the some of the six pan palettes but I am going to get back into doing that as well I just have to have time to film them and edit them on my phone because that's I find that so weird because I do it on my computer it's very weird to do it on my phone but I am going to get back into that and you will see some tutorials coming up on my Instagram using some of these palettes I've already filmed a few of them just have to edit them just have to have time but I work full time that's just the way life is but I do have content ready to go I just need to edit so I will see you in the next video guys